Hey guys, we're in player models and I want to show you how to use the lineup optimizer once you've created a model. So we are looking at a stat splits model. So this um, is a model that heavily emphasizes uh, different stat splits and rates players based on that. We're looking at it from the view of DraftKings batters. Um, the position that you select for the view of the grid won't change the optimizer at all the site will. So right now we're on DraftKings. So if we click show optimizer in the top right hand corner, the optimized lineup will show for DraftKings and that'll be the highest possible player rating um, for the totality of these players. So once we have this optimal lineup, which is um, based on our model, we can exclude players if we uh, so choose and don't like the lineup that's given. So let's say that we want two players out. We click the X next to their name, and those players ca can no longer be in lineups that we create. We can um, return those players to the po pool if we would like, but we click update, and those players will be removed from the optimal lineup. Another thing that we can do is lock players in. So let's say that um, Luis Valbuena, who we, we have rated... Um, high, highly among third basemen. We would like him in the lineup. We click the lock next to his name. You can also click the lock icon within the optimizer itself. So let's say that, um, so right now if we would click update, Valbuena would be forced into this lineup. Let's say that we want Tulowitzki in um, no matter what also. So we click update and Tulo and Valbuena will be forced into the lineup. You can see that the salary is just $100 less then the cap on DraftKings, it'll always come within 1%, usually a lot closer of that cap. And so we have a lineup with those two players forced in and then um, an optimized lineup according to our player ratings. And remember, this is not, we're not giving away a single optimal lineup. This is just your optimal lineup based on the model that you create. We can click to FanDuel and it'll optimize the lineup. We haven't locked any players in for FanDuel, so this is still the optimal lineup. Uh, for FanDuel. So if we would like to get, um, say, Alex Gordon into this lineup, we lock him in, click update, and it will force Gordon into that lineup and optimize around it. Another thing that we can do is exclude entire teams. So let's say that the weather in the Dodgers game is really bad. Um, there's thunderstorms. We don't want to play anyone on that team. We click out in the team column, click update, and there will no longer be any Dodgers in, but it'll still build around Gordon. So it forces Gordon in because we haven't locked and then optimizes around that 